back is the VI Hat 5, and we're here with the chairperson of the Miss Caribbean Diva pageant and the reigning Miss Caribbean Diva. And I will let you guys introduce yourself as usual. Well, I'm Siobhan Finley, the chairperson of the Miss Caribbean Diva pageant. I've been doing this for three years. It's 2000, it's from 2006. And 2007, 2008, there were no show due to lack of sponsorship and other stuff we won't get into in this show. But 2009 set to be great. And we are having 10 contestants, beautiful ladies representing 10 beautiful Caribbean countries. So it's a show you don't want to miss. Hi, my name is Crystal Madeira and I am the reigning Miss Caribbean Diva. Okay. So Crystal, tell me a little bit about your reign as Miss Caribbean Diva. Well, for my reign, I showed up at local events like the cash show and the annual August Festival Parade. And I also was honored to participate in a pageant in Venezuela, Miss Antilles International, which I uh, got the place of fourth runner-up. And I came home with the crown of Queen of Beauty that year. Okay, and where was Queen of Beauty held? It was surprisingly three crowns within the show and I didn't know and I walked home with Queen of Beauty. Oh, okay. So, Mrs. Finley, tell me a little bit more about Mint Model Management. Mint Model Management is a modeling agency that have been doing modeling and pageant services throughout the BVI and abroad since 2004. However, we have not been in, you know, a lot of the limelight or you would say in the entertainment industry for a very long time because I've, I've lost a lot of my models going to school, which is a good thing. Um, so we are now back on the scene in 2009, like the Trini say, what, what's the scene? Right, so we are back on the scene in 2009 and we are basically putting forth this pageant this year to be bigger and better and more positive. Alright, so when did you decide to form this pageant, Miss Caribbean Diva? Well, Miss Caribbean Diva came about in 2007, 2005, sorry when you know i was looking at a lot of pageants being held in the bvi and you know it's basically were based on girls that are from the bvi or have been living in the bvi for a very long time i think probably eight years plus and um, i wanted to bring a different vibe to the scene where I was able to capture a lot of you, the young ladies that live in the BVI. However, they are from different Caribbean countries. And you know, there are beautiful young ladies out there that has many talents. You know, I'm also into fashion and that was one of the, um, the, main, the main things that I wanted to pull off in terms of giving them the chance to show me their creative style in fashion and also being able to market their Caribbean country to the BVI so that we can be able to learn each other culture, accept each other culture and grow together, you know, as one people to make this beautiful, diverse community one that they will always welcome to come to. All right. And this year's team is the positive passion you see reflects the Caribbean diva in me. How and why did you come up with that team? Basically, that's, how I, that's what I wanted to focus the pageants around. Positiveness, you know, positivity, however we want to slate it. About positive, being positive with self first. You know, one has to accept the fact that they have to start with their self first before they can try to teach it to someone or try to share it with someone. You know, you have to accept the, the, the confidence that you have and learn to enhance it or, you know, learn to grow confidence you know and when you start with yourself you you can basically be able to accomplish anything you want to do in life all right so give me a little insight on the pageant this year the pageant is set to be an elated event bvi are you listening this is your girl shay and you need to listen up because this year 2009 june 28th 7 p.m at the sarupa brightcliffe hall you're gonna miss 10 exquisite Caribbean divas marketing their country, their Caribbean country, from 
BVI, straight down to Trinidad and Tobago. We have Miss St. Vincent, St. Lucia, Haiti, Grenada, Dominican Republic, Dominica. Um, I'm forgetting one. I'm forgetting two. St. St. Vincent, St. Gitz and Nevitz. It's in there. You can't miss it, okay? You will be seeing introduction about being positive, the positive passion you see, reflects the Caribbean diva in a lot of we, all of we, right? You will be seeing business wear, and it's not limited to white color careers. So come out. You will be seeing island vibe, what we call an ambassadorial speech. They'll be marketing their country. We will have pure and positive. It's an evening wear where all the girls must wear a white gown must wear a white gown but they can be creative to their to the best of their ability and the diva wear that is one of the hottest segments that a lot of people are coming out to see the diva wear you're getting judged from your hairstyle to your shoes so you know if you're coming with a, a little updo it ain't gonna work you need to tell them salons do the thing all right, you're getting judged from your hairstyle to your shoes. And we're gonna also have one big hair segment from Ayana's House of Hair. That's gonna be doing our hair show, Creative Hairstyle. So it's a show a lot of people don't wanna miss. One of the major entertainments that we also have is the red carpet. So we're kind of changing how people dress to go to the pageants these days. We want to bring back the elegant wear and you're able to rock that on the red carpet like you watch on TV. You're going to rock it Caribbean style. You know, you wear evening wear, you come with your other half if you have to. You walk with your paparazzis, you'll be seeing the cameras flashing, you'll be able to take your pictures with other celebrities, that kind of style. So you know, it's a bigger, better, more positive pageant that we bring ahead to the BVI, one of the hottest in the BVI. Another one of the criteria that I wanted to add in the pageant this year is to have the contestants each do a community outreach. Whether they visit their children's home or the Adina Donovan home, the home in Virgin Guada, or read to primary level students, being able to carry flowers or fruit baskets to the sick, that kind of thing, to be able to be positive in the community as well it's not about beauty it's not about size it's not about height no weight it's a diva in you and if you heard one of my contestants from miss Vincent, she said that it's about beauty class and intelligence and also you know it's about being positive so you want to be able to reach out to the community and show that it's not just about the beauty pageant that we're trying to have we're trying to make a positive mark in the community yep you heard it there for yourself it's the vi hat five and we come to the end miss caribbean diva 2009 june 28th sir rupa biker fall make sure you be there but i'm gonna let the reigning Miss Caribbean Diva, do it the right way. Hi, I'm inviting everyone on June 28 to come out and support all my contestants for Miss Caribbean Diva 2009. See you there, 7 p.m. sharp. It's a wrap. It's a VI Hot 5. Make sure you keep it locked right here at JTV. Plenty of new episodes coming out real soon. Also, make sure you check it out on YouTube, youtube.com slash VI Hot 5. Make sure you check it out once again, youtube.com slash VI Hot 5. It's a wrap. I'm going, going, gone. It's your boy at the top, gonna DJ Bertram, all right?